Hello and good morning. Let's talk about today's work. Um, yesterday was a storm day. Make sure you understand that. Make sure you turn in your homework for this week. This is week four, dash two, second semester. Commission. It's usually a percentage of what you do, like a real estate agent. So a real estate agent is right there. So as you know, I have my real estate license, and if I did sell real estate, I would be paid a commission, or a percentage of the sale price. Piece workers, they are paid by the production. If they produce a certain amount, they get paid a certain amount. If they produce more than that, then they get paid additional money. Those are the piece workers. On a new sheet of paper, copy this down. I want you to turn to example one, and the numbers I changed to make them a little easier, just so you know, okay? So page 307, open your book, reach down and grab it. Okay, so you wrote a book, like the guy who wrote this book. It sells for $50 a copy. Again, I rounded it off to make it easy, and you sold 20000 you get 10% of what you sell. So you're going to take $50 and multiply here. So 5 times 2 is 10, and you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. Okay, so you have 5 zeros. So it looks like you made a million dollars times, you want to take the 10% and move your decimal, so that's times 0.1. Okay, and so you just multiply that out, and I think it's just going to move your decimal right there. So I'm going to say you made a hundred thousand dollars. You can check that on your calculator. Okay, number two, copy this down. Commission. <clears throat> okay, so you want to, if you have a business, you want to uh, have some incentive for your workers. So you get eleven percent of the first 900 and then 17 percent over that so once you go over 900 then you're like in the bonus round because the money's better okay so you sold this amount so you're going to take 1250 minus 900 that's going to be 350 so you're going to take 350 dollars at 17 percent that's your first one we're going to call that a your second one is going to be 900 times 0.11 that one is going to be B, and you're going to add those up, and you get your answer. I'm going to make that a little smaller so I have some room to work, okay? So multiply to the excess, bigger percentage, multiply to the base amount, and then add them up, and you got your answer, okay? Let's go on. Number three, copy this down. You make dresses, okay? Some of you make dresses, so let's take a look here. You made three of them. So all it is is $85, which is what you get paid per address, times three. So you just multiply that out. It's really pretty straightforward. Okay, it's not a hard chapter here. All right, last one we're going to do today is this one. Let's say you have a strawberry farm, and you pay the workers $0.45 cents for the first 200 containers. Okay, and uh, 65 cents for over 200. I'm going to say this is 270 containers, okay? Um, I might have copied it wrong. And anyway, you're going to take the first 200 times 0.45, and then you're going to take anything over that, which is 70 containers, times a higher rate, 0.65. You're going to add up A plus B, and you're going to get your answer. I want you to read example five and six, and then I want you to work one through 11 on page 311. All right, have a good morning. We're going to turn our attention now to seventh period. All right, so this is a review here. And yesterday was a storm day, so make sure you put storm day. You will have to turn your homework in. Next weekend, you will have a test. This right here is pointing towards the absolute value. When it points to it, it's called the squeeze. So you're going to take 2x minus 4 and squeeze it in between the positive and the negative. 
and then you got to work that out. So you're going to add 4 to all three pieces. Once you add 4, you're going to get 2x, negative 3 on this side, and you're going to get 11 on that side. You're going to divide by 2. When you divide by 2, x is going to be between that negative 1.5 and 5.5. Not inclusive. There's no line under here. All right, number 2 is pointing away, but you got to get the absolute value by itself. So you want to subtract 1 from both sides, and you get 6. All right, now since it points away, it's going to be the same thing, and then it's going to be or the opposite. So same, see how it points away, and then opposite. The opposite is going to be 2x minus 4 is less than a negative 6, and then you got to work those out. Okay, you're going to add and then divide, add and then divide. All right, let's go on. Um, write five points that are a function and are not. So put are and not a function. So we want five of them. So to make it, you just say one, two, three, four, five, and then you come up with different values. You could even say one, two, three, four, five. On this side, if you go one, two, three, four, five, then you'd have to say one and one, and then you'd have to repeat the X and say one and two. So this one would have one, which corresponds to one, and then you'd have one, which corresponds to two. You can't have your domain, which is your X's, have two different Y's. So your domain is only supposed to have one. So this would not be a function. It would fail the vertical line test, like over one, up one, over one, up two. It fails the vertical line test because it hits two, one. Okay, today's work is right here. If you get stuck, ask for help. The answer should be in the back. I also have some answers I can show you. Have a good morning.